Live from Seattle, Washington, it's The Cube at Tableau Conference 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Tableau. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Kelly. Welcome back, everybody. This is theCUBE. I'm Jeff Kelly with Wikibon. You're watching uh, our live coverage of Tableau Conference 2014. We're here in Seattle, Washington. We're getting close to the end of day two of coverage. We've had a great two days. Um, one of the themes we're certainly seeing here at Tableau Conference is the partner ecosystem and the, the ecosystem that has built up around Tableau. Um, in this segment, I'm joined by uh, Joe Pascal, who's the SVP of Strategy and Product Management at MarkLogic, uh, a Tableau partner, and Paul Lilford, who is the Global Director of Technology Partnerships at Tableau. Welcome, guys. Hey, Jeff, good to Thanks. see you again. Good, good to have you back on the queue, Paul and, and Joe. So let's talk a little bit, Paul, about we were just talking before we went on, the, uh, the exhibit hall is getting a little crowded down there. I think you mentioned 53 sponsors of the show this year. Talk about the, you know, Tableau's exploding on a number of levels, employees, customers, revenue, and partners. So talk about the partner ecosystem and how that's developing. Yeah, we've got a, uh, a great partner ecosystem. It's really developing well, so we have 53 um, sponsors this year. Um, and, you know, they really, uh, we're a pure play tool in what we do, and our partners really help us um, make sure that our customers are successful most importantly. So we partner with best of breed companies and we try to deliver integrations that really further the needs of our customers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, as, as this ecosystem grows, how do, you, how do you manage this and how do you go about selecting partners? Because I'm sure you've got a lot of companies that want to partner with you. Um, and it could be a lot bigger number than 53 down there, but clearly you've, you've got to pick and choose and be smart about who you partner with and how you do that. Um, what's your strategy? Yeah, so we, we really try to look where there are, are gaps in the market and, and gaps in customer need and uh, fill it with partners that are, that are at the top of the class at, at supporting that. Um, you know, we, we'll have some hedge in that, obviously. You want to have choices for customers. You don't want to force them to pick a single solution. Mm -hmm. So um, I think about partners and especially technology partners as customer assets and we want to leverage an asset. We don't want you to have to rip the data out and do something else with it. We want you to be able to use the assets you invest in. So uh, it's important that we, we continue to grow and continue to scale to meet the needs of, uh, of the growing customer demand. Yeah, I mean, I think one of, the, one of the challenges I think for Tableau as you grow is that, you know, to keep that customer focus, because that's always a challenge for any company as they scale, is really keeping uh, you know, their finger on the pulse of the customer. And I think what you're going to need to do to some extent is rely on your partners. So it's important that you choose them wisely and that they fit with the culture and your approach to uh, dealing with your yeah. customers. Yeah, there's absolutely no doubt. I mean, uh, we, we love partners that are customer-centric and uh, put the customer at, at the forefront. Um, and one of the reasons I'm at Tableau is I, I love, I was a former customer, and I love the focus that Tableau mm -hmm. has on the customer, and so it's, it's one of our differentiators. Yeah, that's, well, and again, that's a, that's a theme we seem to, to come across every time we uh, visit with Tableau, is that a lot of the employees are former customers. <laughs> um, so Joe, in terms of your approach with Tableau um, at MarkLogic, obviously an important partnership. Um, talk a little bit about kind of the, uh, the benefits of partnering with a company like Tableau and what that does for kind of your reach to new markets, new customers, and um, kind of help your customers do more with your product. Yeah, it's, it's very important for us. Our customers, as I was uh, saying a moment ago, they, they really are looking at how to get the most out of their data, uh, whether it's uh, because they're required to or they have an opportunity to. And they really look to Tableau as, as one of the leaders uh, in the space for, for being able to, to derive more value out of the data. And in our partnership with, with Tableau, they've been um, a really great partner and work with us to create a uh, connector uh, that's specifically for MarkLogic, custom built for MarkLogic, that's going to be shipping in a couple would, of weeks, I think. Yeah, within the next uh, month or so. Well, yeah. yeah. Talk, talk about you know uh, the. Let's get into the, you know the real details of the partnership in terms of you know, working together from a technology perspective. Uh, is there a go-to-market uh, arrangement as well? What's the kind of the, the details? Yeah. So so looking, I'll start from the technology perspective. Um, one of the things that that we've worked on hard together is uh, how do we provide um, more value to Tableau's customers and ultimately our customers as well 
by letting them get to some of the capabilities that aren't available in some of the other data sources. So being able to go in from Tableau, um, do all of the kinds of things that, that you're used to doing with Tableau, but then also you know, enter a search term and narrow your query, uh, narrow all the data that's coming into the Tableau, into the visualization, uh, into the analytics based on what you're doing with, um, with search terms that Mark Logic can handle that um, uh, some of the under, other underlying uh, data stores can't. So we really looked at, and, uh, and this capability is in, the, is in the connector, the ability to expose more of that power through Tableau to our joint customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And from your perspective, um, again, I'm curious. So when you when when you look at the partners out there, you've got um, you know some some of the names you might expect, but then you've also got this emerging so-called big data space. You've got NoSQL yeah. players like MarkLogic. You've got some of the Hadoop players down there as well. Uh, what role does that play? Do you do you approach some of these newer uh, approaches to data management database? any different than you do some of your relational database customers? Is there uh, a pattern maybe with customers and how they're using the product differently? Yeah, I think there are a couple of things there, Jeff. So, you know, one of the most compelling things about Mark Logic for me um, is, um, you know, one of the biggest areas in big data is 80% of the world's data is unstructured. And how do you get to that? Um, you can structure it and put it in databases and that's a method that's worked for years and years. Um, but does it have the agility and speed that you need? So I love Mark Logic's ability to index that data where it sits, as it sits, how it sits, and so you can consume it naturally. And we like this conversation with data, and textual data is an important part of that. But it doesn't necessarily come down to just that. If you look at the Hadoop infrastructure, we integrate with all the major Hadoop flavors, mm -hmm. um, and they're great partners for us. Um, but if you want speed there, you can index it in Hadoop. Mark Logic can do that. We can index relational sources that are not indexed for the need that, mm -hmm. that you want. Um, so I love the schemaless approach from that perspective. Um, but getting to that unstructured content, I think, is the single biggest reason why it's important for customers. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the growing demand, and you, know, you can't always hire an army of people to structure it to make it go. Right, and are you seeing a lot of demand from customers that, that are looking to tap into some of these new data sources? Yeah, we're seeing more and more. I mean, I think it's um, um, early in the system. And yeah. you know, when, when you say no SQL to the average business user, they don't know what that mm -hmm. means. Um, and so, you know, turning it into, you've got doctor's notes that are handwritten or written in the system or claims yeah. notes, and turning it into those use cases, I think are the way that it'll become more and more consumable over time. Yeah, when you talk to a business person, if you, you talk about Hadoop, NoSQL, Spark, Shark, <laughs> all the right. other, you know, they don't know what it is, and they really shouldn't. They want to solve a business problem, and that's what those technologies enable, but they, when you start putting it in the context of, well, a doctor's note handwritten, you want to, aggregate that, you want to do some analysis, yeah. then people kind of get it. Yeah, and you think about even email, right? Um, you could easily query email to do the two line or the date or the subject line, but what about the body of the email? Mm -hmm. That's where all the meat of the conversation is, right? Someone may be good at doing a subject or not. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, some people don't know how to use CC in an email, <laughs> so you don't know that it's an FYI or to you. Yeah. So, you know, being able to get to the context of it is, mm -hmm. is an extremely important capability. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some, other, some of your other partners as well. Uh, so sure. from a, uh, we, we had on Interworks earlier, uh, and some of the partners that are kind of building up around Tableau specifically, um, adding some of the enterprise grade capabilities uh, that maybe Tableau lacks, hasn't developed yet, um, although you're taking a lot of strides there as well in terms of the enterprise uh, server uh, offering. How do you look at that marketplace? Is there, is there any conflict there, is there with, with some of the capabilities that they're offering, not necessarily into work specifically, but yeah. that consultancy, the professional services arms that are building up around uh, Tableau, and how do you manage that relationship? Well, it, it's absolutely a fundamental part of what we do. So we have four pillars of our channel. We have a reselling type pillar, a consulting alliance pillar, a technology pillar, and an OEM pillar. Mm -hmm. And one of our big strategies is the triangulation between them. So great product companies together help customers to be successful, but the implementers of that technology are critical. Mm -hmm. So Interworks and Slalom and um, e &Y and Deloitte mm -hmm. and Accenture and these types of partners are fundamental to being successful. Um, and really success at a customer happens at the implementation level. It doesn't happen because you sold them a piece of software. 
right? And right. so our great products are made better by great partners that do that. Mm -hmm. And I think when you look even within technology partners, um, integration partners with database partners, right? Mm -hmm. They make sense. Um, the social providers with that, the data providers. So our, our strategy there is to really triangulate and make sure that we've got people that are best in breed of what they do, whether it's implementing or building other products, working together in a great collaborative way to make a customer successful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so let's talk about this show a little bit. Uh, you yeah. know, the vibe here is great as it was last year, a lot bigger show, what, 5,500 people now uh, versus I think 3,200 or so last year. Um, you got a big grin on your face. I know you guys <laughs> clearly enjoy this. You threw a great party last night at the Space Needle, which was fun. Uh, closing the, uh, the stock market yesterday here out in the 7th and Pike. Obviously, uh, things seem to be going pretty well for Tableau, and why is the event itself important for the company? Well, I mean, uh, we're first and foremost a product and customer company, and so this is a celebration of our customers, but also product and capability and, and empowerment of people. And so for me, it's, it's just a, it's a fun experience. It's tiring, there's no <laughs> doubt. Um, hydrate up. Yeah. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's just a great event because we see the passion of our customers and making them successful and, and, and making people's everyday, um, instead of having a job, you have a career mm -hmm. and you have a work life that you love, mm -hmm. um, is really a huge part of what's different about Tableau customers and Tableau in general. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I love to see it. It's fun to be around it, it's contagious. Indeed. Um, so a lot of fun. Uh, and, and Joe, from your perspective, what does Mark Logic get from the show? Is it, uh, you know, obviously the energy, the customers, but what's, what's really uh, your take on the show and, and, and you know, your, your take on, on this customer base and how you're able to, you know, to interact with these, these customers? I, I think more than anything else, what I've seen is people who are hungry to find ways of, of using Tableau technology and other technologies to, as I was saying before, to, to kind of get more out of their data. There's, there's a real hunger for that uh, and a real, a, a real desire to, to be able to capitalize on this. I think people are looking around and they're seeing what other people are doing and they're going, I, I didn't realize that was an option, right? I didn't know we could do that. And so it's, it's really eye-opening, I think, and that, that I think kind of uh, increases the you know the energy level and enthusiasm and we're getting lots of people coming by and and asking us about how to use the products together and you know what they can do with them and it's just that sort of curiosity interest level and desire to to want to figure out how to how to get something more out of their data mm -hmm. um, so we've got time just for one more question so we talked a little bit about earlier kind of your future plans but I mean I guess longer term um, where do you see this <laughs> like a dating site. Where, where do you see this relationship going? <laughs> what, uh, I mean, what are some of the, what are, what's in the works that you can share with us? Um, and, and from a strategic perspective, how important is this relationship to Mark Locke? Well, it's, it's very important to us. And um, I, I think when, we, when I look at it from kind of a longer term perspective, it's really about how do we, how do we do more and more and expose more and more of the underlying power and capability through the, through the Tableau tool. So how do we let Tableau users get to more and more of the power of their data? They can do a tremendous amount today, but as I was saying, I kind of view this as the beginning of the journey, and I think there's, there's a whole spectrum of things that we could look at and, and, and say, yes, these are things people would like to do. Uh, there are areas that we could go together to make actually both of our products more powerful. Yeah. From your perspective? Well, and from my perspective, perspective it's more um, unleashing, you know, the unstructured content on the world and, and getting people going. And, and uh, we're working on some cool things with their bi-temporal feature and, and some really exciting things that I think are going to resonate with customers and, and help them make better data-driven um, decisions. And that's what it's all about in the end, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Well, guys, thanks so much for coming and uh, joining us on theCUBE. Really appreciate it. Um, it is, it is uh, exhausting here after a few days, right? <laughs> Lots of fun, though. Um, so again, thanks, guys. Uh, yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back uh, live here from Seattle, Washington at the Tableau Conference uh, right after this quick break.